Welcome cameras friends, hope you are doing awesome. So one of the biggest concerns that I get from clients that are considering the Rick Simpson protocol is how do I deal with the high and how do I minimize the high? So in this video, I'm gonna cover what to expect on the Rick Simpson protocol, how to deal with the high, you know, how to build a tolerance if possible, uh, how to alleviate the symptoms of the high if it gets too intense, and how to get the most out of your experience while you're on the Rick Simpson protocol, okay? So remember that uh, Rick Simpson oil, it's a black, a sticky, gooey, almost a tar-like substance. It's a really a beneficial uh, form of cannabis oil. It's meant for ingestion. It's not meant for smoking or vaping. So it has uh, other constituents inside of it besides just the cannabinoids. It has like terpenes, flavonoids, isoflavoids, and a, a plethora of other phytonutrients, you know, plant nutrition in there, okay? So how to deal with the high from the Rick Simpson protocol. So you're gonna start off small, you know, with the dosage, okay? And you quickly ramp up to where you're doing a gram a day, all right? So you start off with a really tiny, tiny amount and, and you do that for three days, and then every three days, you're ramping up to where you're doing a full one of these syringes, which is 1,000 milligrams or one gram. So the thing about it is, um, from day one, uh, that first dose is going to get you high, all right? And as you ramp up, you're going to continue to get high. So... Um, it doesn't, you're not going to stop getting high really during the, while you're doing the Rick Simpson protocol, you're just going to be able to handle the high when you get to doing this full gram. So in other words, if you were to just start off with doing this full gram on day one, you would get so high that you would just, I'm not going to do this. I can't handle that. There's no way I could handle that ever. And you would just you would just not do it, right? Like 99.9% .9 of the people that that did it that way would would not do it. Okay, so starting off small, it enables you to sort of uh, build a slight tolerance, but also get used to getting high. So when you do get up to the full gram, you're able to handle it because the it takes about 30 days to ramp up to the full gram. And then you do the full gram for 45 to 90 days. And so, so you need to be able to handle it because you're being doing it for that long. So, um, so you do it for that long and then you taper down and you go into like a maintenance phase, which is just like about, you know, 10 to 20% of that gram. And you do that daily just to prevent, you know, um, things from going backwards, basically. Okay. So in summary, you don't stop getting high. You just get used to getting high and build a slight tolerance so you can handle that full gram for the 45 to 90 days. Um, if you do end up taking too much, like when you're first starting out, like sometimes too much squirts out of the syringe or something like that, just go ahead and swallow it down. You might get a little bit higher than the previous days or something like that. Maybe not, though. And, but um, don't waste it, you know, because you can't put it back in the syringe, right? So I uh, just take it down. Otherwise, it's gonna just gonna go on a napkin or down the drain or something like that, right? Which, which you don't want to do because this stuff is so precious and special. So you really can't take too much, but you can get really super high, uh, no matter what the dosage is. And that being said, the dose so you that you could have the same thing go on. Uh, from on two particular days, take the same dose on two particular days, like 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 woke up at the same time, ate at the same times, took the dosage at the same time. One day you feel like a slight high, the next day you're fully blasted off the same exact dose. You know, uh, you know, same. Uh, you took it the same amount of minutes after your meal, everything. So you can never really predict how high you're gonna get, and um. It's really hard to try to minimize the high because you don't really know you can't you can't really control it, right? You can't even control how soon it's going to come on. Um, sometimes it takes 15, 20 minutes to come on. Sometimes it takes like two hours to come on. It's it's crazy. And, and, and like you said, you know, you don't know how high you're going to get, and you don't know how long it's going to last. It, 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 like off the same exact dose from day to day. It, it's really, really interesting. So you can't really outsmart it. You just have to, 
just go with the flow, you know, just experience it and just relax, you know, and um, sort, sort of, you know, like be in the moment with it, you know, and, and uh, let it do its thing. You know, this is something that you can actually enjoy and um, understand that this is something that you get to do. You know, not everybody gets to do this. It's not highly available. And um, so if you so if you get your hands on, you know, like true like like true Rick Simpson oil or, or full extract cannabis oil, then, you know, it, it's super precious. You know, it, it, it's something very, very special. And if you get to do it, then, you know, then, then appreciate it and just appreciate the whole experience. You know, the, like you're experiencing something different than you ever have in your life, but you're going through something that you've never gone through in your life too. That's the reason you're taking it. So, you know, going with the flow and, you know, enjoying the ride and, and understanding how special it is and the special things that are going inside your body, you know, with it, you know, becoming part of you, um, that helps you to, to, you know, just get through the experience with a much more favorable outcome. You know, like, like your attitude, your vibration matters. You know, when when it comes to this kind of stuff, so um, so 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 think of it everything positively in a positive light, and and you'll just uh, um, get through it. You know, um, in a much more happier and beneficial way. You know, I, I and you know I, I say this from experience because I've been doing this for ten years. Like I, I've literally been taking the oils for ten years. Okay, and you know I, I extract them. You know I. You know, I, I live it. It's part of me. And I, I you know, I, and then that's, like I said, that's why I love it so, so, so much. So anyways, that concludes this session of Cannabis Friends and 420 Buds. Be sure to give us a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel to spread the good word in cannabis and hemp CBD. And remember, knowledge is power and health is wealth. This is Al Morenton with Cannabis Friends and My Fit Life. Thank you and have a beautiful day. Peace.